put all of your weight on your ankles. When you put all of your weight on your ankles, then it's much easier to stand on your toes without all the pain. Um, when, you, when you start from the floor without having to step onto your toes, you have to find your, your center. You have this is an imaginary line that actually goes through you. And when you take your muscles, you squeeze all of your muscles toward that center. You tuck in your butt, you squeeze in your legs, you push back your shoulders, your head goes up, and I'm starting your first position. You start with the plie, then you start with the demi, then you start with, no, you start with the plie, then it's demi point, which is, it's on the balls of your feet, and then you just slowly rise up, like that. Second what? position, you start plie, demi, rise up. Third position, plie, demi, rise up. Sorry, I'm not fighting my center right now. Um, uh, fourth position, you plie, you find your center, you pull all of your muscles together, you demi, make sure it just goes up. Fifth position, you find your center, you plie, you demi, then you rise up. And now, Sixth position. There are five positions in ballet. First, second, third, fourth, fifth. In point, there's a sixth position that's not used in ballet because it is parallel. The feet are together. You plie, you demi, and you rise up. And now you are, once you mastered the plie, demi, releve, you're ready to put those three moves into one quick action. Now we're going to start second, fourth, then turn. Sound like a lot, but it's like like lightning. So second, fourth, please get your other way. Down. Okay. <laughs> Whew. Now we're going to do it again for guys that probably didn't see so much. And that is my speech. 